So we've segmented the teeth and now we're going and continuing to model trimming. So I'm left clicking on continue to model trimming. What the software now does is it creates a trim curve. You could see that the trim curve has a point below each tooth. By default, it's set to three millimeters, but that's an option that we could change. If we go to tools, preferences, in orthodontics, we see the gingiva trim limit, sorry, the gingiva trim margin, three millimeters. In most situations, there's no reason to, to change that. So we see the software places a dot three millimeters below each tooth and connects the dots to create the trim line. So all we need to do is we could go ahead and we could review it. If we want to make any slight modifications, we could use our left mouse button to grab and drag any of the points. And once we're happy with the curve, we just go ahead and click on the trim button. So now we have a much cleaner model. So it's, re so it's reducing the print time, reducing the printing material, and eliminating potential errors during printing. So now we have a much cleaner model. And if we take a look at it, we can see that there is a height here. We can see the difference between what was above and below the trim curve if we look closely. And in a situation where we wanted to completely eliminate anything below the trim curve, what we could do is just go to tools, preferences, and change the closed model height and reduce it. Okay, even if the closed model height is less than the trim curve, the model will still be the height of the trim curve, but it won't be anything more than that. So that's an option that you're able to change if you want by default, but in most situations, there's no need to change it. Reverse, it's good to have the extra area on the model base so that we could go ahead and emboss or engrave the patient's name or unique identifier as well as the model numbering. So now we're going to continue by trimming the model. So I'm going to left click continue with mandible and we have the curve showing up automatically for the mandible. Again, we can look it over, see if there's anything that we want to change. There's no reason to be concerned if the curve extends past the back of the model here. That's fine. We'll see in a minute and we're gonna go ahead and click trim. Before we do that, if we do make any modifications regarding the curve, and then we wanna undo them and go back to the, and go back to the suggestion from the software, we just click the reset trimming button and it will reset to the trim curve. Once we have the curve the way that we like it, we click trim. And we now have our mandibular arch trimmed and we could see both of our arches now with teeth segmented and the models trimmed and cleaned up.